there's that whole thing of going to college for four years or you can go and do a six week course to become an electrician. I think people get a bee in their bonnet as well when you go to college for four years and then someone turns up who's just as qualified as you. And they've... Yeah, but if you've had the same work experience, then it's no different. But I, think, I don't think the work experience comes involved in a six week course. But say if you'd worked for three years and say, right, I'm going to do this course now just to get qualified. Then that, that's fair enough. But I think the majority of the time, I don't think that does happen. So I think a lot of them come out with very little experience. Did you start off on what, TikTok? No, Instagram. So I started, when did I start playing? About four years ago. Did you explode in lockdown? That's exactly what happened. So with me, I just started posting picture tools and whatnot, and just uh, I thought it was a bit of a hobby, and uh, people liked the way I used to take pictures and made them look colorful and whatnot, and tool bags, and then COVID happened, and then it exploded. If you could go back, would you change trade? Out of all the trades, would you would you pick Sparks? I would be a carpenter, in all honesty. Welcome to Off The Job. I'm going to take a swig of my tea before I actually introduce him. Make a noise as well. It's R. Davis. Ryan from R. Davis Electrical. Hey! hey, 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 hey. He's like, like he... Well, like me and him get on. Like a lot of people do think we? that electricians and plumbers don't get on, but we do actually like get on. Shh, we gotta keep it going. Nah, it's good to have you here, mate. Thanks for having me. Known you a little while now on the old socials. Unfortunately, yeah. I know, but you know, but you come on here, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, because well, it's nice to get an invite eventually. You've only been doing the podcast for the last three months, and uh, now I've been invited on because you didn't have a guest. We wanted to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we wanted to, we wanted you to open the second season. The second <laughs> season already? God, you boys yeah. are doing bits, and yeah, no, mate, yeah, we're, we're, flying. We're, we're flying, mate, flying. Like we moved premises, you know, it's like he didn't want to put this back up. Oh, so we where done, did you before then? Dartford. Still, <laughs> oh, right. still out of doing the congestion charge, are we? Yeah, you'd still have had to have done it, mate. Yeah, we're no, not, you lose, so. though. We're not paying you for it, so. Yeah, am I not being paid? No, you're not paying for it. We're not oh. paying you for the you, Les, or anything. Oh, it's oh, gonna walk out now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man. So, let's go where all the podcasts go and say. Ryan, how did you get into the trains and where did you start? What, what what was it all about? So, yeah, for me, um, finished school. Old man was a spark. So it's just, here you go. Here's a job for you. You worked Thank for you very your dad? Much. Uh, for the company my dad worked at. Mm. Yeah. Um, obviously didn't do very well in school. So for me, it was just that easy, natural progression Go do a trade. Obviously, I've done a bit before. I was meant to be a spark. And... You was oh, meant yeah. to be a Sparks. Yeah. yeah, you went to Spark School, didn't you? Spark School? Been turned to a plumber, yeah. You... Too hard for you, was I it? I converted, yeah. Too hard. <laughs> Too easy. Too <laughs> easy. <laughs> he wanted to do more of a challenge in his life, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Sorry, I interrupted. I think, I think people assume it's uh, an easy road. When I did it at college, Christ, the, them exams were the level one... Uh, Part one, part two, as they call it. Mm. The physics exam, well, the science exam was equivalent to like A-level physics. Yeah, I didn't know that when I was at school. I was terrible, all that sort of stuff. My mate went... Go to college and then you, all of a sudden you got to do equivalent to A-level yeah. physics. I'm like... My mate said it was... Drop me out. He said it was proper art, but he's thick as shit. It was all handwritten that... as well. <laughs> all completely handwritten. Who, who's that? <laughs> Go on, name names. Nah. <laughs> like, I had a few mates do it and they said it's bang hard on the maths and the physics and all it that. Was. It's like, it yeah. was. It was. And I'm not very good at that sort of shit. I would have would have struggled, but I just like the thought of like just pulling pipe, uh, pulling pipe, I pull my pipe. <laughs> <laughs> pulling cable as opposed to pushing pipe. I suppose I don't so, know. I fucking. Yeah. I feel. I feel if I would have done again, if I had another chance, I'd be a Sparks, not a. I, 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 it's cleaner, I, isn't it? Yeah. It's is cleaner. It? Look at you. Look. You've been at work a day, is mate. It? Look, look. Is it cleaner? Yeah. It is cleaner. You don't it get depends what you get... aspects of the job yeah. you're doing. If you're that in dust, that shit every day, that's, that's, that's not is that right. Dust? That's, that's, that's dust. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you go first fix, you've got the wall chaser out and stuff. Yeah. 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 Kate's yeah. in rubbish. Ceilings coming down, mm. they're black hands underneath floors pulling cables. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's not it's not the most pleasant of jobs. There is the other side of it which is pretty clean. All the site work. Sparks and sight, it's all clean work. Mm. 
Uh, so you're, you're, straight... the one, you're the ones who fucking make it messy, to be quite honest with you, innit? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Oh, the old stereotype. Don't know that broom. Don't know that bass fan of broom. We can't help it, can we? Oh, here we go. Where's the cable? <laughs> God, the cable drop-ins. <laughs> Who can see it? The cable drop-ins. But the thing is, we're just far too busy working. We can't lower ourselves to having to spend time cleaning up as well. I know, that's what you got Casper but for, a, isn't it? A lot, but I believe it, a lot, a lot of the time on the site, now people going around sweeping up. So yeah, you they do. Yeah. They have a labour on site when you could be ten minutes yeah, there doing no. something else. Mm. I think that's where the stereotype comes from. Yeah, probably. I think that's a lot of it. But that's the same for all the trades on site. Yeah, not just Sparks. No, yeah, we just like to make a meal of it with you, lot, oh, don't we? Because it's, it? it's all banter in it. Every single day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's all God, banter. Put it? a, you got a dustpan. Van picture up the other day. Oh, I don't see any broom in the back of your van. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. It's the most, it's the most obvious thing to say, isn't it? It does yeah. get boring after a while, I suppose. Massive. Well, listen, I, I've played to the stereotype yeah. as well on, on camera, but... We well, yeah, got it, we got it. Of course you have. Yeah. It gets, gets fused, doesn't it? Oh, but, I think I'll do the same thing. But we're definitely not all uh, messy uh, people. So you started straight from school? Yeah, straight from school. Uh, straight, literally that summer holidays, fab all my GCSEs, and there was no six week holidays then at 16. It was bang, straight into school, uh, straight into work, straight into college, do your four years, and then um, here I am today. Here, here you are. Here I am on this today. podcast. No, but yeah, four years of college, and then I was here, there, and everywhere between different firms. I've never been one to sort of uh stick to one firm for too long yeah um was you with your dad for a while the whole apprenticeship then uh with that company for a couple of years and then moved with a, a subcontractor that did work through that company as well um right. and then i was probably with them the longest um i then sort of fell out of love of it for a little while is this when you Watch became sparks. hang on is this because i've read somewhere that you used to be what, on Daily Mail? No, right, no. He used to, <laughs> you, you took a break out, didn't you, to be um, a traffic warden. Where did you hear this? Who no. told you? Is that not right? No, that is right. I know that. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to become a fireman. <laughs> yeah. So I did you apply. You look like a fireman. Yeah, I know. You do look like a fireman. Um, so, yeah, I did apply and didn't get it. Mm. And then went back to Sparks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did apply and didn't get And then went back to Being a Sparky. Being a Sparks. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to get in. Did you try to get into London? That was what it was. Mm. You'd Why have been better you better fall... at going out of Essex, mate. A mate of mine did Essex and mm. he got in straight away. Yeah. Why did you fall out of love then? Do you know what? I don't know what it was. I think it was um, just me being young and naive and just obviously the money mm. wasn't there and yeah. I was I just got a little mate, bit bored we, of it. We've all done that. Like, yeah. I, I, I fell out of love of it years ago. I tried to be a fucking driving Comedian. instructor. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tried to be a driving instructor. <laughs> no way. <laughs> really? That's I would a... have done a course and everything in Wolverhampton. For like, what age was that? For for about two two weeks. I had this, this thing called Instructor College and I was at work and it said, train to be a driving instructor, make £50,000 a year. And I was like, oh, that well, sounds what good. What is it? You can train, you can drive, can't you? What? If you can drive, then... Well, it, it turns out I'm not great as a driving instructor. <laughs> <laughs> I was Imagine never going to... Imagine getting a ride time when they're driving. The, the, the geezer right. off <laughs> <you're laughs> <just laughs> <trying, laughs> the geezer. The geezer hated me. He hated Cockneys anyway. The geezer mm. who was training us, the driving instructor, he's going, right, well, I'm going to learn you right, is how to be a driving instructor, right? And I didn't take anything. I was fucking taking over in fucking um, on, on crottings. You'd have been a much better game. black cab driver. Right? I was, I was, I was mm. just shit. I was shit. And I remember one day he goes, <laughs> he goes, we're sitting, my mate was in the back. He goes, what's that thing there? What's that thing there? And I went, what? I went, he goes, what's that fucking thing there? I went, um, that's... That's the license plate on my windscreen. You went, I'm pointing at the fucking bus stop, he goes. And I go, I don't know. I'm no good at this. I don't know why I come here. I just needed a break from plumbing. Anyway, so I did that. And then uh, I come back. I did. I did do a, a, a you know, that uh, multiple choice. He had one of them to do. I passed that. Right. And then, and then, and then uh, they uh, let me do a driving test and I failed it. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. A driving test to become a driving do, instructor. You have to do a drive, three driving tests. Okay. You have to do it again. And well, I failed it. Take your license. <laughs> <laughs> I failed it. I think anyone would fail though. If we was to do it now, oh, I think God. you'd fail it. It's all them bad habits, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. 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 I did. Try, I did think about being a black cab driver once actually as well. Yeah, you, that, that would have been the perfect job for you. I if I, I had to stereotype you into a job. Black cab driver. I think I'm yeah. like, maybe I should have a look at doing that. That is not that easy though, is no, it? No, no, knowledge. no knowledge. But just you talking all day. Oh, good. Perfect. Do you, love, do like you love driving in London as well. Fucking <laughs> hell. Yeah, but at least you get bus lanes, don't you? You can True. go to bus lanes if you're a black yeah. cabbie. You know what I mean? It used to be really glamorous growing up though, didn't it? Didn't it? Like, I had loads of mates as well that dropped out oh, of my stuff was, doing black cabin. and My mate's dad was Keiko. But they all were, weren't they? Keiko. It's changed were. now. You, know, you look at 15 changed. years ago, everyone wanted to become a black cab mm, driver. Yeah. And if he was one, work all the hours you want, whenever you want. Yeah, go out, whatever. I need a few yeah. quid, I'll fuck off yeah. out uptown, yeah. Friday night out, do a few hours and 500 mm. quid. Oh, right. having that freedom, isn't it? I don't think it's that easy no, now, it's though. not. No, nah, poor easy. sods. They're really struggling, especially with Kaida. Well, I've got a few mates that are black cabbies and COVID just destroyed yeah, them, bless them. Smashed them a bit, didn't it? And COVID. then you got then you had Uber. Uber. But Uber Uber are failing, didn't they? I think. Are they? I think their bank balance is all nah, right. No, but it? I think what they try to do, didn't they try and get like um try to get a TFL license? Yeah, they? something didn't like work. that. Yeah. Mm. Because they try that's what they've done in other countries. I was talking to a black cabbie the other week about it, and he said about that. Mm-hmm. And they, ain't, they haven't been able to take over London, whereas they Rightly have in, so, in other cities. Rightly so. Oh, I don't think they should have let the tradition go in of black cabbies and not let Uber in London, maybe. Or, you look at that or exam. Or you, it talk, down. you talk about exams and stuff. That that knowledge they have to do. Yeah. Uh, how do you remember that shit? Oh, how do you I remember don't know that? How they, uh, I don't know how you physically ever, anyone ever passed it. No, it's bonkers. It's mental. And then for then, so but, someone so come along exam, with a phone. Yeah, mm. and and yeah, learn it on sat nav. How demoralising was that? Bollocks, isn't it? That's like, like, like any of us doing all our gas exams, your electric exams, and then saying another company's coming in and they're just getting instructed. But there, there is something oh. similar within the trades. Like there is that, st- no, that <laughs> there is that, uh, there's that whole thing of going to college for four years, or you can go and do a six week course. That's what I done. Six week course. course. You look like a six week. <laughs> Kieran, if I had to look at you and say, and you said I'm a, I would have gone, yeah, six week course. <laughs> well, I tried the electrics, but it didn't work. Two years. But I there did. is a massive stereotype, and there's a lot of. Uh, beef online between um would you say they're not as good then if you I do six weeks that. no 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 well, there's a lot but go on carry on no but there is though i think that i think people get a bee in their bonnet as well when you go college for four years and then someone turns up who's mm. just as qualified as you and they've been doing yeah, it but if you've had months. the same work experience then it's no different but i think i don't think the work experience comes involved in a six-week course you basically sit in a room no i mean like weeks, but say if you'd no worked experience. for three years and say right I'm going to do this course now just to get qualified. Then that's fair enough. But yeah. I think the majority of the time, I don't think that does happen. So I think a lot of them come out with very little experience. I won like, I won a six week course and then go and do it. I was like, I was in the trade and then. Then that's completely then different. Done it. That's yeah. completely different. Yeah. Hands on. Yeah. You're yeah. talking about like, if like, uh, like a fucking, I don't know, someone from the city, like a trader but, decides to do a six week course. And then and go, yeah, I'm that's a different. Plumber. No, but, that's yeah, different. but on paper they are. That's, that's the thing. Yeah, on paper they on are. On yeah. paper they are, but mm. stick them out on site and. But a lot of people rabbit in headlights. How, how many people are out there who are actually taking chances? We call them, don't we? Chances. Mm. Who, who, how many people are going out there with minimal, minimal experience? That's the scary part. And Could just you? and then just jumping into somebody's house and changing the boiler. If you can do a six week plumbing <laughs> or, course or, or a fucking fuse board. Do and you do your I mean? gas in like three weeks. You, yeah. quali- you have to do the portfolio, but anyone can yeah. you make you that up. You, you they, only but... learn over time, innit? Obviously, you, that's where well, you that's gain That's the whole point of an apprenticeship yeah, mm. as well. Uh, for me, but yeah, like I said, there, there, is, uh, there is that side of it. How often do you have to renew your electrical? Just when the new edition like comes out? So you do an 18th edition has been the latest one. So that's been out for what? four years mm. so, so you do just have to do refresher comes, courses yeah. of course yeah because there's new regs come out uh new bs76701 amendment mm. 3 comes out or yeah eight, nine, next one's 19th edition do you ever look at them and think to yourself why has it changed 
Yeah. Um, I think, I, I, maybe I shouldn't say what I think. <laughs> I'll say what I think. <laughs> no, I, I, won't, I won't dive into it too much. Revolved around money. I, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because everyone's I got think, to pay to update then. Haven't I, they? I think a lot of uh, it might be uh, the old. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think there's a lot of that involved. You yeah, because if they update their regs, all the training centres are getting more money, and it's. I mean, there you go. It's, it, yeah, you just do like, especially in the, the thing, whole world revolved around. Of course, money, it is. Look, everyone's there to make a pound note at the mm. end of the day, in it, but. Um, yeah, and obviously, no, there is some regulations that come out that warrant coming out, mm. but mm. there is some stuff you look at it and you go, really? Really? Mm. Same really? Same so, here. yeah, it's a, it's a funny one. So do they actually, the changes that they make, do they go through that with you on the refresher? Yes. Because gas, you don't do that. They rely on you to refresh your own brain. But a lot of it is still quite base the the basic knowledge as well. Mm. So you have to do a test as well at the end. And, but are uh, you more heavily cancelled than us because you've got to do it every year, in you? No. And yeah, it's not every year. No. Only I when the edition. Only when the new updated. edition I comes thought it was out. Every so year. my the, my eighteenth edition, I did it the second week it was out, and um, yeah, that was what nearly four years ago. My mate said he's going every year. So, no, that's that the term? NRC assessment. So oh, you right. have an assess the assessor comes out every year and that's checks your work. Yeah, but that's with Na that's with NAP it as well. well so we NRC and NAP it. But again, that's they're not thing. governing bodies. You don't need that. You don't do need you? either of them. Oh, right. So that's irrelevant when it comes to how. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so yeah, that's like your what, old Corgi gas safe thing. It's not, uh, are they a governing body? I don't know how yours works, but the R NIC yeah, or NAPIT yeah, yeah. is, um, yeah, they're not, um, you don't have to be I wonder with what... Eva like a lot of people assume you have to be. Yeah, uh, you don't. You, you have don't. to be qualified in college. You have to be a college. competent person to be able to sign work off. So you don't have to have a qualification? Either. I've known lots of companies that have been with the NIC or ERC. And they have not got a qualified electrician on their firm. So you can sign up with, I don't want to paint this in a bad way, but you can sign up to NIC without doing an MVQ. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You don't need your Part P or anything like that. I don't want to go into it. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I say saying that I yeah, shouldn't yeah. say, but yeah, yeah. I, I, I've known companies to be part of the NIC and they they haven't had a qualified electrician. Mm. Uh, on the books of the company. I mean, that works different with Gas Safe because Gas Safe are the governing body. Yeah, you have if to. You be, have yeah. to be part of Gas Safe. Yeah, I think that's the slightly to, different to, to, to put a gas appliance in. But I think people look within our industry. People look at the NIC or or NAPIT and go or or pick a contractor because they're with the NIC. Because mm. but you don't. No. Mm. You, you never don't. know. Do you? you don't have to be. Yeah, I don't. I never. You, it, it didn't, don't, it's not. A, it's not. A, once you're an electrician, you have to be with the NIC. Mm. Right. That doesn't work like that. Yeah, I mean, it's like... I think it, look, it looks good to some people because I think there's an assumption now. You've obviously assumed it, so it's yeah, obviously works. I mean, I mean, it's like the same yeah. with Off-Tech. Off off -tech, you don't have to be Off-Tech to work on oil either. Okay. So that's... I the, thought... You, no? No, you don't have to be. You okay. don't have to be Off-Tech to work on oil. Um, Is that why you work on oil a lot? I don't work <laughs> on it a lot, to be honest Just with you. Just puts it on his head. Yeah. I mean, I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't work on it a lot. I, I do a few bits and bobs every now and then. Sometimes, and you can get like, um, you get, you, you'll have, they'll have a certificate where you've got like a, uh, what is it called? I can't bit remember what the fucking cert is now, but you, you're an unregistered installer. Certificate. Okay. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You'll have one of them okay. sort of thing. And then you may have an off-tech engineer come and do a final commission or whatever. You talk about oil boilers. Yeah. Okay. But you don't, tank but you don't technically have to have any qualification to work on an oil, oil boiler. Is that not potentially more dangerous though? Than, yeah. 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 Because that, that stuff's seriously flammable. Yeah. That, that'll, that's boom. That yeah. Is, if that goes, it's boom, isn't it? And it's more it's, it's as well for the like, for the um, fucking... Oh, can't get me words out today. Environmental. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you get an oil leak on a tank, mate. If yeah, you get a trouble, bit oil oil leak on a tank, you're excavating a lot of like if that gets picked up by the environmental, they're excavating, mate, round your house. Really? <laughs> like, like, 
Is that common? No, it can't be that common. That sort of stuff. Well, you won't. You might not have in heard of it. In rural places, but what? What oil? Yeah, cop, they're small. Is it oil's mad. There's loads. Of course, think yeah, about. I mean, rural places. There is. Yeah, no, I mean, no, but like, for, how often do you come across it? Oh, where I live in Harlow. Not in Harlow. <laughs> don't live in nothing wrong with Harlow. You don't live I in don't the live countryside in there. Yeah, I do, mate. Yeah, you so venture I live, out. I live in Essex, there. don't I? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't live this side of the water. Yeah, the wrong side of the water. It is the wrong side of the water. This is the right it? side. No, no. The wrong this is side the bright mate. garden of England, mate. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> now you've been stripped <laughs> to that title. Awesome of England, what are you you've, been, about? you've been stripped <laughs> to that title. The uh, Garden of England's been stripped from Kent now. Why, just to let you Why know. would you take a name away? Yeah, because it's not so much a garden anymore, is it? Does this what? come under Kent or Dartford? Yeah. Does it? Barely. Sharpford, I'll call it. Yeah, barely. Well, Casper's the first <laughs> time I've been this came Dartford. over the Dartford like, Bridge today. I, I like really? Dartford. What? You've never come it, over it, the Dartford we, Bridge? We were driving over it. He looked at me and went, what's this? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> and I went, How old are you? And he was like, that, he's 21. It, that is such a sheltered life, this poor boy. That's a sheltered laugh. I knew someone like that. But yeah, he looked at it and was like, what is this? Is this the Thames? He went, <laughs> yes, this is the Thames, Casper. Like you go back through the tunnel on the way back. That's right, to educate him and go, well, yeah, we go over the bridge, come yeah. back on the tunnel. And the bridge was erected uh, in uh, 1981 and the council put tolls up to pay for the bridge. And, Do you know what the name yeah. of it is? No. <laughs> no, it's the Queen, it's Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, it was that was only meant to pay for, pay the, for the bridge. Pay for the bridge, and they've just made an absolute like killing. How Another many... company's bought it. That's what happened. French company, wasn't it? Was. Wasn't it? Yeah. They sold it off to a French. How company. can you get away with doing that? So, but they did, and they do that this sort of stuff. To they us all, all bloody the time, lie. Don't listen to anyone. All, everyone should it's have all seen about it coming. Money. Everyone mm. should have seen it coming. And then you're going to have to pay for the Blackwall Tunnel soon as well. Do you reckon? No, you are. Do you know what I it's struggle with? It's happening. I used to go through Rotherhive all the time. Oh yeah. We fly through the rubber arrive. Todd was and on now the way. Ways always tries to take me still through yeah. the rubber arrive. And I'm like, I can't go through yeah. it. I've got a bad <laughs> yeah. How can you not change that on the app? That's how they get back. They've told ways to send people yeah, through. You, there must be a way of going, no, I own a van. I cannot go through the rubber arrive. Yeah, can we yeah. not just keep diverting me to yeah, go man. through the bloody rubber arrive? I know yeah. it's the better route. I always... Yeah. We go to Tower Bridge in the end. You said this the Tower other week. Tower Bridge or Blackwall. That's the only way or yeah. you get charged. X amount to come over this you know policy what? bridge around the corner do, from do, there. Do you know why the Rob Rife is so bendy? I do know. I do know. Go on, tell us. Whether I'm right or not. Is it to do with um, Awesome Car? Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. Also used to bolt for the light. Yeah. So you, it's the same with the old Blackwall. That's it. it. Yeah. That's another useless fact bolt, that I told you. Bolt for the light. So, you know, never knew that's that. what they're yeah. trying to do. Like, the horses so. used to see the light and would bolt for it. So they'd make it bendy so you would never be able to see the end of the tunnel. Yeah. So now they're Wonderful. not letting you cowboys through with your horses anymore. Yeah. So, you know. You cow is this a good point to me, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a spark, yeah. <laughs> Sod. He's got, his lasso. He's got his lasso work. It's a lovely, though. It's tight, though, isn't it, Robert Rife? Yeah. Oh, tight. Matt, I've had my wind mirror caught a few times. Yeah. I, used to go through it. I used to We used to have always um, go through the Robert Rife on the way to Lewis and more Deptford. I had a job yeah. in Deptford a lot. Deptford. I worked in. Uh, yeah, move you, for about a year. Do you know what? Right, like, I don't like mean to say this, but I just feel I think it's just because we're the other side of the water mm. that when you're on that side of the water in London, mm. it could be the sunniest day. <laughs> but it's still a hellhole. And I well, I don't say that, but I just felt miserable. What well, yeah. your side? No, your side. <laughs> yeah. So like when you're in London and the south side, and it's like my mum's family from South London but whenever I was over that side no matter how bright or sunny or mm. hot the day was I still felt miserable maybe it was a homesick thing I only used to go you know south I, mean? I don't know south river for pie and mash that was about it man's is on Tower Bridge Road yeah yeah good no, it's been good I never went there you, you please tell me you've had pie and mash, though. Yeah, of course I've had oh. pie and mash. My friend, <laughs> yeah. my, my, God, my, you nearly gave me a heart attack my, my friend my friend um, uh, has uh, a pie and mash shop yeah? yeah? Whereabouts? Robbins. Which one? One in Rumford. Is it? Mm. Nice. Yeah. I do love a pie mash. Nice. Mm. We should go. I haven't been gravy. to that one yet. I need to go to it. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've disowned friends for having gravy <laughs> or even really? asking for gravy. <laughs> gravy? No, it shouldn't liquor. even be an option. Liquor. You Northerners go properly. Actually, ain't an option. Northerners, Northerners would come down and have gravy, wouldn't they? Oh, <laughs> what, 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 what are you putting liquor for? You, you, you have what that you on fish. You have it on fish. What are you doing that for? Yeah, well, you go pot pie mash, you don't get the option. It's liquor or nothing. Yeah, pie mash mm. and liquor. 
Yeah, I do love buying my shirt. I do like it. Yeah, yeah, I saw us on the floor. You get Top us. double you double. Are there any round here? There used to be. There's, There's one in Crayford. One in Crayford. Is there? Yeah, yeah, up the road. You go there. Good do, yeah. Double double. Oh, double double, yeah. Well, and then Ills and Nicker on the side. Ills. Ills, no way. Yeah, Ills and Nicker. Nah. Ills? No. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're going too far. Nah. What's the matter with you? Ills and Nicker. Oh, shut up, mate. Yeah, Ills, no. Have you tried them? Yeah. I would but never But you like try. roll mops and all, don't no, you? No, I'm not a big fan of roll mops. I like jelly deals. A um, mm. bit of white pepper. Vinegar. It's funny, the topic we're speaking about, we've gone so off. <laughs> <laughs> He's an electrician. He is a bit strange with his food tastes and all that, isn't he? You know what I mean? So I grew up on it. Every sort of uh, Cockney knees up party we used to have with mm. granddad, there's always jelly deals and cockles and like big that. buckets of it. He used to go. Yeah. Up. Uh, <laughs> I was a crab. Every, I was a crab stick man. Crab stick. <laughs> every time someone mentions uh, jelly deals, I always think about. Um, uh, uh, Cassandra's dad in Only Fools and Horses. Yeah, <laughs> he's, yeah. he's, he's missing. You're going to eat jelly deals, aren't you? You're going to get drunk and eat <laughs> jelly deals. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm going to do. I'll pretend I know what you're going on about. Oh, yeah. come on. No, don't, no we're, not going, we're not going down there again. We're not All going right, there. Have you, have we've, we've mentioned it too many times. Okay, yeah. Still ain't educated himself on Only Fools and Horses. That's the same with I Casper. haven't watched it, yeah. You haven't watched yeah, it? But I'm a bit well, if you haven't know. watched it, there's no point watching it now. Like, yeah, yeah. No, you should binge it. How old are you, Karen? 33. Are you really? I don't like you now. Yeah, he looks like <laughs> going grey, like you. <laughs> He's wanted to get that one in since I said about the colour of his hair and it being dusty. Yeah. You look like Triple H as well. Everyone told you you look like Triple H. Oh, I've had Jimmy Bullard. Yeah. When I had short hair, it was Lee Evans. Yeah. You do look <laughs> like Lee it? Evans. It's the ear holes, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I can't, I can't yeah. see it now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it does. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I used to like Lee Evans. What he happened to him? He's, he's retired, isn't he? Done it, mm. done it. Retired. Oh. You're the next one coming up. Don't need that. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> one day, Pete. One never. day, never. one day, Dang, mate. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna get on that because, like, you know, it's yeah. hard graft. It's older. a pipe dream. You'll get there, mate. Yeah. You will. It's right down them goals. So you, um, you fell back in love with Sparky in there. I did. Uh, and then, yeah. But how many tickets did you issue as a traffic warden? Not enough to warrant <laughs> me staying on. <laughs> <laughs> traffic warden. Do Researchers, like... you told me he was a traffic warden. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Well, I've got the face of a traffic warden, have I? You have. One that you want one to slap. One of ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Get out of the way. Yeah, but listen, you... Um, this guy, uh, you was quite a good footballer, weren't you? I was, I was not bad. Is I this, was all right. Is this where we find out he wasn't semi-pro? I was I played every town. Uh, every town. Then? Yeah, I was all right. Scored four goals from his score in the Middlesex Cup final. Still got the record for that. I thought you were going to say the whole season. No, no, no. <laughs> final. I right, listen. How old was you? Well, when I was scored them yeah. goals. Was it 15, 16? I scored four goals in the final once, but it wasn't as good as league as his. It was actually the Jenkins Cup final. We played for Kelvin and Hatch near Brentwood. We played a team called Whitham. We beat them seven nil. Oh, and I scored four goals. Oh. It was mm. so it was it was upsetting for the Whitham team to be mm. quite honest with you. And uh, yeah, now I'm a, a coach for my son's football team. Oh yeah, and I absolutely mm. love it. Yeah, yeah. I, I tore uh, ACL meniscus playing football and. Had to have an operation. Obviously, wanted eight weeks off work. They said to have the op. op. And I was like, I'm self-employed. When you're younger, yeah. Is that recently? That was right? when I was twenty. Yeah. I was like, I'm a self-employed electrician. I can't have eight mm. weeks off. Well, work. you could have done back then, couldn't you? Being well, not 20. really. No. Why did you have kids then? Did you have, did I have then? kids then? No, it's later than that. No, I, my little one was. Yeah, it was little then, little baby oh, then. Was, yeah, oh, so right. there must have must have been twenty four because I didn't twenty four. Yeah. Ah, well, yeah. Then so then go. I couldn't warrant having the eight weeks off, and um, and I've still got an ACL, torn ACL, and torn meniscus. So that was my footballing career. That's why the other, other one, the other reasons why I can't really uh, play any old charity football games, but. Right. I still get it. Look, I still be the best player on the pitch. It's not. You probably it's would. Not, yeah. I mean, it's not I could, it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't imagine Pete being a footballer. Could you? I reckon you've got like two left feet. Got good goalie. Yeah. Fuck off, mate. I was sent sent to midfield. You got yeah. big hands. You'd be I a was good like, goalie. I was often I was, left back mate, in the changing room. No, my mate used to say, he "Goes you." 
I don't know if this was a compliment or a dig. He used to go, you remind me of Ray Parler. <laughs> I was like, like the Romford Pele. Yeah. But, but, but for our standard. <laughs> oh, right. well, then that Not as good be... as Ray Parler, yeah, right, okay. but like the equivalent mm. of our standard of football, which was mid-Essex, like sort of. So, you know, tr- like going hard, give 100%. But not necessarily be any good at football. You're not gonna like set the world alight. Do you know what I mean? You might have one, two, three good games, but you're always putting hundred percent. I played sorry. for quite a long time actually. What football? Did you? Yeah. I bet From, you were shit, weren't you? I was a defender. Yeah, that's why he turned to rugby. <laughs> he ended up taking people's heads off <laughs> yeah. at football. Yeah, I played from like eight till fifteen. And then uh, I started rugby late though. Rugby. I can't st- I don't I don't mind it. It's good. It's, people don't like it because there's a lot of rules. So they like get lost in the game. My daughter does it. She's not too bad at it. But there uh, where, is a lot where of do, rules. Where do you stand with tradesmen that don't like football? What? Where do you stand with tradesmen that don't like football? Uh, I don't do you know. Like, I don't. Watch, I've never followed it. I, I used to follow it, but I can't be bothered with it anymore. Mm. I, I, I always like, question someone that says they don't like football. I used to. Uh, like, I love playing football, and I did used to like watching football. But now. With watching the game, I just cannot be bothered. But what do you talk about on site? Oh, it's I'm on site. It's always oh, football talk where I used to go yeah, on the big building sites. Everyone's going, oh, football weekend, oh, yeah, still, blah, blah, blah. If you're working with someone, I don't know about, oh, I don't know what to talk about yeah. now. I I've struggle. never been a football, full, I don't I don't really follow any sport other than boxing, probably. That's it. Yeah, I like with boxing. I just like, I just like, I just can't be bothered with it. It's so expensive to go to watch football now. And then mm. you're talking about the amount how of much does how it much, cost to go? How much is. I, What's his name on? What what what's the French geezer? What's his name? The the winger. What's his name? The French winger. Uh, oh, come on, you're a footballer. Yeah, but for who? What's it? Oh, Mbappe. Mbappe. Yeah. How much is he on a year? Oh, he's, he's doing a million, well over a million a week. And it's two hundred fifty grand a week. Saying it? it's two hundred fifty million a year. Yeah, his contract. Two hundred fifty yeah, million pound a year. Well, I, I love going. I, I love going out of the Arsenal. You get priced out of it, so I go. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, non-league football now. Hang on a minute. Did you say Arsenal? Yeah. You ain't an Arsenal fan. Are you? Guna. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh sweet. I thought you was a Spurs fan. Oh, I'll give him yeah. so much more respect. Yeah, man. no. Don't it's just because you said you was from North London. I just looked at you as yeah, all, like all the families have, isn't them. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, because I'm originally a Guna. I've been so, originally a Guna. No, what are you, no, what are you what, now? What, no, what I mean is, I used to go up to watch. Yeah, Arsenal yeah. when yeah. I was a kid because that's who my yeah. cousin followed and that's yeah. who I followed because of that and we used to go up there I remember the first game I went to um, West or East stand can't remember caught the ball first first day I went to caught the ball did you give it back to Nigel Winterburn oh, didn't, say didn't say thank you didn't say thank you did not nah wow. prick sad <laughs> But so, no, it was good though. I used to love the. I used to love the library. library. Yeah, it was beautiful. Stadium, How much is a ticket now then to go? Oh, well, season ticket is uh, you're looking at close to on eighteen hundred quid for yeah. a season ticket. Mm-hmm. That's if you can get get one. Yeah, they're not. Mm-hmm. They're not. Uh, you have to ten year, waiting twelve year list, waiting yeah. list. Yeah, that's madness, isn't it? Um, I think me and my son went five games last year, and you're looking at. Depending on who they're playing, it's so like a one or a ticket. So if you got like, twenty pound ticket, so if you're a Tottenham supporter and you're on a waiting list, then that's a long time to wait to not see them win anything, isn't it? There you go. That's oh, yeah. And they've got moan, the most expensive season tickets. I know. Well. People moan about how much they get paid, but if the money's there, then yeah, I don't think I think uh, the normal person gets prized out of it. That's a yeah. hell of a lot of money to so come up with. A lot of it's corporate year. and as well, isn't it? Now? Yeah. So yeah. they could just earn a little less, so it gives more people that they, well, they can I, go I, and watch. I get a lot more enjoyment going to watch like, the non-league football. Mm. I go most weekends to watch. I went yesterday and watched Wolfram Abbey against Hartford Town yesterday. Yeah. Mm. Great. See, it cost you seven quid to get in. Views, yeah. Yeah. Cut the pints. Probably a good day out. Yeah. Who is it? Jack used to go and watch Dartford, didn't he? So he used to go and watch yeah. Dartford a lot. Yeah. And he mm. said they get sometimes, they get like, maybe like 700 to 1,000 up there a yeah. game. Oh, it's great. That's not a bad little no, attendance, is it? And you'll probably see smaller clubs probably progress maybe because, because they're getting prized that, out of it get, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a lot more enjoyable everyone has a bit of better all the fans all together mixing it's all mm. yeah, it's I remember really watching um, Chelmsford City me and my mates went there one year when they was playing Tottenham reserves I can't mm. remember what team it was but Jason Dezel do you remember him he played for Tottenham in that game and we was like we're going down the 
Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But that's a good little crack down at Chelmsford City at the old New Riddle Street ground. They're not there anymore, but um, yeah, all those little those um, clubs. They're, they're There's loads good, of them up by us. Good little crack. Loads of them. Chesham, How much Orient where, get into now? Hartford. That's quite expensive. Who? Orient. It would be. Oh, no, I wouldn't say it's expensive, but... Like, but that was yeah. the other club, and it? If yeah. it was a neutral, Orient, a lot of neutrals went to Orient. Yeah. They? Just to watch a game, I suppose. Mm. At the I watched Crystal Palace a few times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. South of the River, don't you? Yeah, that's why. Yeah. 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 What league are they in? Right, he came from there, no, didn't he? He came from Crystal Palace. Yeah, they're, they're a decent team, Palace, no? It wouldn't be, it wouldn't mm. be uh, cheap to go and watch them anymore. Mm. You can probably get in the Millwall for a... Score. <laughs> I was up there the other day. Lid from Bermondsey. Oh, mm. is she? Yeah, she, she watched a few she, times. She was Millwall. No, she ain't a supporter, but oh. she had been. Moo. Yeah. No. What's this place? There's a long queue. It's the chip shop. <laughs> 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 it's the chip shop. What, instead of the turnstile? <laughs> <laughs> If there's uh, any Millwall sports out there, I'm very we sorry. Do yeah, yeah. We, don't, we don't mean to offend anyone. No, of course not. Especially, <laughs> especially Millwall fans. Especially Millwall. Yeah. Well, they said we look like West Ham. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was the look you're going for. No, we just... And that's his look, isn't it? The colour. I thought that was quite a good top. Yeah, claret and blue. Yeah. I've lost mine already. So, then, yeah, you div. Why? We've got how can you lose your top? Yeah, how do you lose a jumper? How does that I work? reckon I've got changed here. You goal post when you play football. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I got changed here and it's here somewhere. Yeah, probably. Hello, you wonderful listeners and watchers. Just pumping the brakes on this exciting episode to let you know about Kieran's app that's changing the game in the gas certificate world. If you're sick and tired of doing gas certificates on paper, then gas certificate app is your way forward. But it wouldn't be an app worth talking about if that's it. With no hassle, you can manage your diaries, invoices and quotes for all your jobs so you never be chasing paperwork again. Don't forget those boiler manuals. I can tell you how many times I've been looking at a boiler and thinking, what the... Thankfully, the in-app boiler manuals have saved me and got me out of quite the pinch. If it's Help Pete here, then Gas Certificate app will definitely help you, especially with its easy-to-use gas red calculator and the extremely handy ability to duplicate certs. Brilliant for when you're doing your annual services on previous jobs. And for the icing on the cake, it has a complete offline mode. So if you're on a job in the middle of nowhere or servicing a boiler in the basement of a building with no signal, you've still got access to everything the app has to offer to keep you working hard. So click the link down below or in the description. Use the code POD30 to get 30% off yearly subscriptions. That's for all new users. That's POD30 for 30% off our yearly subscriptions for new users. How long then have you been doing this old social media malarkey now? Uh, it feels like far too long. Yeah. Did you start off on what? TikTok? No. Instagram. So I started, when did I start painting? About four years ago. Just before that thing that happened Lockdown. called COVID. Lockdown. Yeah. So did you started putting did you, some pictures up. Did you explode in lockdown? That's exactly what happened. A lot of people did, didn't they? Yeah, so with me, I just started posting picture tools and whatnot and just like, I thought it was a bit of a hobby and like, people liked the way I used to take pictures and yeah. made them look colourful and whatnot and tool bags and then COVID happened and then it exploded. And then I got so I was like, do you know what? I need to sort of try and mix it up and start actually putting me face to mm. this Instagram account yeah, that yeah. loads of people followed and... Um, yeah, then started putting my face on a bit more. I think I did the trade. The first thing I did was like Trade Legends podcast. The first one I did like was like three, two, three years ago. What, that first that was one. the first time you put your face on it? Yeah. What, you went in straight into a podcast and oh, go, I am the guy. He's like the stick. I'm <laughs> the guy. Near enough. So I, I did like that. Po- that was like the third episode that went out. Yeah. And then I, ever since then, I jumped on TikTok. And then TikTok was just a whole different beast that just went absolutely mental. Mm. And like, you got me, I was like one of the first ones to start posting electrical content and mm. content on TikTok mm. for electrical base yeah, anyway. Yeah. It was like one of the first ones. Mm. So for me, yeah, it was easy to sort of start getting that following. Mm. And yeah, it just went, it just went. Mental. Was you working the whole way through COVID then? Yeah. yeah. Luckily, that was like the busiest time. Mm. I'd ever been an electrician through COVID. I didn't. I took time off. I did yeah, one I of them. Know. I did oh. one of them things where I thought to myself, I'm going to. As I, I bought into it at first, I was like, mm, I'm going to stay at home and keep me and my family safe. Yeah. You wouldn't think that of me, would you? But 
I know it's all a load of bollocks now, but I did at the time. I think I took about 10 to 12 weeks or something. I might have been going in a day a week or whatever. And So the news come out and I was working at a, in a data centre, big Google data centre I was working in. Mm. And then COVID happened, the news, Boris on the TV, and then next day it was all this hoo-ha. Are we allowed to work or not? Like, mm. are we... It's nuts, when not it? Yeah, yeah it was you absolutely got bonkers. And then we got moved to like an evening shift and then I was working all day doing my own sort of yeah. stuff. And then I was working there every evening. Oh, I was mental busy. That was the second time round for me in self-employed. So I was originally at my own company and then I had employees, subcontractors, and it was the worst time of my life. Mm. It, I hated every minute of it. Yeah, but having out, people, just having people, having people rely work, on you yeah. all the time mm. for work, and I was on some big jobs and absolutely hated it. Uh, felt like I had loads of money coming in, but it didn't feel, didn't feel like I was actually making any money. Yeah, yeah. it's but, hard to get that balance. Yeah, it, so. it was it was really hard. And then so I sort of chucked that to the side, went out on my own again. Oh, no, actually, tell a lie. Uh, I went and worked for a firm. I was their qualified supervisor. As an electrician, they wanted to build up their and I like electrical side of the business. Mm. Went there for a little while and then left there. COVID happened, so as I was trying to become self-employed again, mm. I just wanted to be a one-man band back out on my yeah. own again. And then obviously COVID happened, and then you can earn more money just being on your own. So much happier now. Yeah, so yeah. much happier. Me and Casper. Yeah, um, less responsibility and less responsibility. A lot more time. A lot more free time um yeah and just just overall just so much happier and yeah. that's the main thing i think yeah, like whatever people, you do you just I, be I never enough. attempted i went into partnership once with my mate mm -hmm. and he sort of, we was in it together for a year but it was sort of like uh, you know when you like unless you've got clear clear cut of what both you, of you do yeah, yeah, messy, yeah. Don't you, you, rub it, you start doubt. rubbing yeah. each other up the wrong way and that and you know what i mean sort of like your friendship was more yeah. beneficial than the yeah the actual company and i just said to him that we're getting a bit spiky with each other now after do you know what um, and i was like should we knock this on the head just go back to me yeah. helping you every now and yeah, then yeah, you yeah. Helping just, me. that's the best way i have a few and, people that you can help so my, my awesome. brother's an electrician as well mm. uh very, very prominent electrical business and people always say why don't you two why have you two never gone into business together and for that exact reason yeah like I've got a great relationship with my brother, and if he needs help, I go and help him. And if I need help, he comes and helps me. Way, it? Yeah. But going into business together, that's yeah. a huge commitment. Yeah. Mm. And rows over money start mm. happening, and like all of a sudden, you're not talking to your brother. Who's and doing I was more always, work. Yeah, yeah, stay well. I'm lucky, I've stayed well clear of that. Yeah. And um, I'm glad I have because yeah, you can, sometimes it's only it only ever works out and it's only one bad thing yeah it does and i, I think you sort of need to experience it to realize what you want to do and what you want isn't it i think yeah you have to really think about it i think because like no matter i don't care what anyone says right if there's a partnership there's always going to be one dominant partner yeah yeah do you know what i mean yeah, or one who thinks he's more yeah. dominant than the other yeah. and and that's where it sort of goes a little bit wonky because one will be pulling his weight more than the other and trying to push the business more than what the other is. And the other one will just, do you know what I mean? It, I think you both got to be, you have the exact same goals later. Yeah. yeah. You both got to be that way inclined. <laughs> if you're both not. Yeah. It doesn't it. work. Yeah. You're in a clash. It won't yeah. work. And, and, I tried yeah. it. It just didn't work. Yeah. Shit, shit. I, ne I never understood people going business with other people. Yeah. That's a lot mm. of money. You've got to find each other every month. Yeah. Like, Tossing up dividends at the end of the year and, and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's a, a lot it's of grief a, involved. It's a, it's a fucking head, it's it's like a, you say, just help each other out when you need it. Yeah, and like I said, it's so much more happy than mm. just being on my own. Yeah. I say, I'll well, take my, my hat own. off to people that build like a big business in yeah. construction. Like, that's not easy. Yeah, to do. like, so yeah, I, like I said, like, I, I didn't have a big firm at all. I had a mm. couple of employees and some subbies and yeah. whatnot. And mm. like I said, it was the worst time. Uh, was you trying to stay on the tools at the same time yeah well? oh yeah still yeah. working but then you then feel trying like to you juggle working it all, yeah. and you're going around checking another job yeah. to making sure everyone's got their materials mm. running old sailors doing this doing that you end up losing money working. didn't you yeah yeah and yes yeah, so it was just a hard uh and uh, yeah hats off to anyone that does do it because oh yeah this is not i don't easy. know how you've got a home life because my home life wasn't very happy yeah. at all nah. well, because you're, you're not going to be there and your head's always going to be somewhere else when you are well, at home, yeah you know I mean? yeah and I think them driven people like that, I don't, I'd love to know what their own life's like because 
Mm. I was hardly ever at home. Mm. Yeah, well, that's the fact, isn't it? A lot of them will ta- I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I sort of done a post this morning about it. Like people work all the time. It depends what kind of what kind of cloth you cut from, in it. There are people who will work all the time and then they don't give time for their kids. Yeah. But then, but then they'll bring all the money they can into the family and the kids love them. And, yeah, yeah. That, and then they'll come back and be a weekend dad or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then. So then people are all right with that. Yeah. And their missus are all right with that because maybe they're getting, a, you know, some Gucci shoes or yeah. whatever. I don't know. But at the end of the day, you still want that connection with you your family. Balance, you? Yeah, you need I, that balance. Yeah, I listen, I'd much rather being at home at three o'clock every day and I'm there for my kids uh, yeah, every single yeah. day. That's, that's how I just like it and yeah. I prefer it. I want to be there for them and I guarantee that they'll grow up yeah, they'll appreciate and go, it. Do you know what? Mm. Dad was always around. You'll appreciate it more. Yeah, and uh, he always gave us time and... Mm. He always gave up his weekends for us. Yeah. So you don't get that time back. Yeah. Yeah, of course you don't because it happens so quick. But what you will find is you will find people who who do work like nutters. Yeah, yeah don't of course you see, do. But don't see their kids like, from, and then they feel guilty about it. Yeah, but yeah. then they chuck the money at them. Yeah, and, and, but then but, but then and then they'll be trying to like like say to themselves, "Well, I'm a fucking good dad." Do you know what I mean? And and they'll mm, put all this yes, shit up on yeah. social media. Blah, blah, blah. But you'll you'll donate it most of your time. But there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, there's not. There's nothing wrong if you're trying to do the best thing you can no, for your kids. You just got to have an end goal in sight, and as long as it makes. And sure everyone, happy, everyone's so. different. Everyone's dynamic is different. Everyone's situation is different. You yeah. get that. But what works for you works for you, innit? it? Of course, it does. Me, yeah, I don't say it's the best thing to do is to be at home at three o'clock every day. Yeah. Because yeah. I think you get caught up in you get caught up in it because you get offered more work and you're like, right, I don't want to turn it down. Yeah. The only way to take it on is by get someone to help. And then, but then it, you're in that spiral. Exactly yeah, yeah. what happens. And then, then all like, of a sudden, I've got like, so, no, more. You don't than want more to let them down. In. Yeah, you just get caught <laughs> up. I don't, in I, don't, it. I, don't, I don't mind turning work down. <laughs> <laughs> no, and do you know but what? At least you can do that because a lot of people can't say no. Exactly that. And when you realise that you, it's there's no harm in turning work down, then you'll be a much happier trade yeah, person. 100%, yeah, yeah. It's like, instead of running yourself into the ground, I there's nothing worse. People, people, people help me out by turning it down. In what they tell me, they turn it down. I don't. The other day, I just thought this phone call come through the other day. Was it me? Because you're still not coming around my house to do the plumbing of mine yet. Leave it. <laughs> Yeah, I told you the story yet. What happened? Go on then, what happened? Uh, yeah, shall I tell you? Uh, yeah. so Saturday, the missus is in the year. I need a plan around, need a plan this around. This Saturday? No, not this oh, Saturday, right, last okay. Saturday. Yeah. Uh, oh. Pete, send him a message. I'll, I'll show you the voice. Shall I, show you? Shall I, shall I do it? <laughs> yeah, right, go on. Okay, we'll do this. <laughs> right. Um, right, let me get it up. Excuse me. There is a Pete Plumber Tales, crafty little rascal. <laughs> Right, uh, I couldn't remember. Pete, this is Saturday, twenty third of March. I don't remember. Sending Pete, this. I need you around mine. Got a washing machine with a pipe that's connected to it leaking. Let me know when you're free to pop round. I'm in Chesant. Right. Ryan, I'm in the pub at the moment. It's Saturday, obviously, and I'm pretty much battered with my voice. So, give me a text tomorrow and remind that was... me, mate, these boys, these boys, these boys are fucking, I'm not even going to go there, I'm not even going to go there. Absolutely <laughs> battered. Battered, yeah. Absolutely <laughs> battered. Right? And you message was it one more? Day. There is one more. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, they're my, they're my boys, yeah, they're good people, <laughs> but like, I'm not going to be in any state to take any sort of message to You talk to all customers like this, do you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in trouble, mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's cringing, isn't he? Fair, to when, when, someone, when someone says, I'm in trouble here, <laughs> you know they're back in trouble. <laughs> so I left him a few days. <laughs> and uh, he's still not giving me a day where he's going to come round. He probably didn't remember. Did I, I forgot sending him it. But well, you said you remember yeah. what you said on the I, I sent him it straight up the next day, but then I was so knackered the next day. I just went, <laughs> <laughs> just went to bed the next night, and the day after I didn't feel great. Is that when you were doing the worm? No, nah, that was the other week. <laughs> <laughs> that was the other week. No, nah, my mate said about that. We don't meet up like all my um, my my mates from the estate. Like, uh, so I think we don't see each other from one day. My boys. Like, my boys. My, my, my boys. My I'm in boys. trouble. Yeah, boys. <laughs> I'm bag in trouble now. <laughs> there you go. So that's, a, that's the only time we've all met up in one space in the last how many months. So it was a case of that. And um, Any excuse, say? 
Well, I don't really drink that much. So if I do have a few... You have a like, few? I have... I have that's the only way ah! to do it, though, isn't it? One, two beers, I'm on my I'm, I'm on my way. Yeah. I fell asleep in the Turkish restaurant upright. Really? At about eight o'clock. Can we put a photo of that up? I've got, <laughs> a, photo. Yeah. I've got a photo of that. If you want to put it up, I don't care. Whatever. It is what it is. It happened. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I was going to have one question. Go on. Do you get many call-outs as a Sparky? Because obviously plumbers and stuff get a lot of call-outs. Do you get many? Oh, I Ryan, don't. it's an emergency. No, I don't. Um... Again, like depends people, what work you're in, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. depends. What, and people assume that I've got like loads of work because of social media and stuff. Mm. Like my social media was never one to promote my business as a whole and get loads mm. of work in. Like if if fun, I did, yeah. I would be obviously I'd, I'd probably be inundated with work, but mm. I'd never wanted that. So, yeah, I very rarely get call outs and stuff. Mm. And if, if someone does, it's usually from a client that. Mm sorts me out and I'll quite happily go and do yeah, it. Yeah. But I don't advertise my business where people, no. or any old person can ring me up and go, we've got no lights at one o'clock in the morning because yeah. I don't want that. Mm. <laughs> I don't need the money that much for me to be going out at one o'clock in the morning well, sorting yeah. people's lights out. We, and... we get them calls. Like I got one the other day on, and I've ranted about it actually. I got one on Good, I got one on good Friday, seven o'clock in the morning, phone me up. <laughs> Oh, the drunken voice wondering, note coming I was back. Just wondering um, if um, um, if you could um, have a look at a flexi tack on the connector that looks like it's wearing out on my toilet. And I thought to myself, Is that it's a good Friday. Out? It's yeah. seven o'clock in the morning. Why are you phoning me? I said, mate, it's good Friday. I'm having a laying. Yeah. Thanks. Well, yeah. If, if there's water pissing out of someone's ceiling, then you, yeah. Yeah, then it's a bit different. It's the same with electric, so as well. Like um, the most you're going to get is. Uh, the fuse is tripped in the fuse board yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. And are they actually like Emergencies. emergency call out? Yeah. Put the candles on. Like, you, you know, I, a lot of time I give them advice over the phone. Just yeah. go, I'll do that. Un unplug do everything. You know and I do a lot of that. I did a yeah, lot of that. In I'm, lockdown, I've done that a yeah, lot. And lockdown. I would rather do that than go somewhere yeah. and end up did charging them 80 people, quid. Did you see any people charging for it? Yeah. yeah. Did you any, see any people, tradesmen charging for online stuff in lockdown? There was what? people. As in... There was people charging for doing virtual, virtual call outs. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't and see that. talking their clients through it and billing them for it. Did you see that? No. Uh, and that's. Uh, oh, could you imagine just sitting there and still earning the crust, just going there, go around, unplug them, and turn this on? Mm. Yeah, it's a nice little screw, that, isn't it? That'd be sixty quid, please. Yeah, that's <laughs> seventy it? quid. Yeah, still right. your sofa. It would be a nice little screw, but I thought to myself, fucking hell, I, I was doing it. I talk. I talked my cousin round out to change a ball valve, I think. I had another woman phone me up about radiator valves. I said, just get an hammer, undo them, give it a tap. Do you know what I mean? On the side of the body. Oh, it's got hot. Or whatever, do you know what I mean? It's open up now. I, I would rather not do that and have someone come around and do it, though, to be fair. That's a bit risky doing that, yeah. Yeah, anyway, well, I did, you come to another job of mine. First mm. and only plumbing job I've ever done. Mm. And it was the worst day Cass of my was life. Laughing. Cass it was laughing. It was the worst day of my life. I, I knew from the beginning I was just, just going to got someone around to do it. I oh, thought, nah, this would be easy. Yeah. Change this water heater, single water heater, hot water tap coming off it. Be a doddle. It's not that easy, Sparks, is it? Yeah, it's it not that easy. Water coming out of this <laughs> bit, this bit, so, that uh, bit. Oh. We have to do electrics as well, don't we? Well, no, obviously I had to get, I had to get a new supply to it. So, so that's why it was another reason why I thought, yeah. do you know what? I'll give it a, mm. I'll give it a whirl. It's only that bit, bit. I thought, no, a bit of copper, I'll do it, yeah. Right. If you could go back, would you change trade? Out of all the trades, would you, would you uh, pick Sparks? I would be a carpenter, in all honesty. Mm -hmm. It looks cool. Big saws. And, yeah, I think oh, so. Man. Out of all of them. And it's another one of them jobs where you're not going to get called out on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I've got yeah, an emergency. Yeah, my, out, my door's yeah. not closing. Do you want to pitch a roof and all that crap? Yeah, no, if, no. Again, it depends working. what work what you do. Oh, you want to be a do? kitchen fitter, do you? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. That's like a six-week course of education. I wish I <laughs> <don't know. laughs> I might do that. Who else can we piss off this month? Um... But is it like yeah, kitchen fit? Or is, uh, is that fall into carpentry? Or is that a training its own? Well, I've had a, I've had a, I've had a thing about this before. Yeah, when when you get a carpenter and a kitchen fitter in the same room, and what the kitchen fitter calls himself a carpenter, and and then he goes, "Well, do you do?" Like uh, if it's like bespoke, 
if you're making the kitchen, I don't know. Yeah, no, listen, there's yeah. some unbelievable, uh, are they called a joiner? Would they be called joiners in that aspect? Uh, when you Possibly. build like the, your, some of them kitchens. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I know, I know, lot, I know oh, no, like, that's different. Yeah. I know a lot of bespoke carpenters who make like wardrobes and stuff like that. Yeah, tailors, there's tailors, loads of them, Eric. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Derek on Instagram. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's mm. some of the stuff that he yeah, turns exactly. out. Yeah, it's good stuff, isn't it? Unbelievable. But yeah, like... That's real skill then when you're doing yes, that sort of stuff. Yes, And so I've done power in <laughs> not, people's kitchens. Not notching the back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've actually not, built not, a kitchen. Not, yeah, I've a kitchen. Yeah, I'm not... But to, to compare them to say it's the same trade is not, is it? No, so, no, 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 no. I don't think so. No. No, I don't think so. They're sticking a Howden's kitchen in is not the same as yeah. making a kitchen. Do from... they get you to fit a kitchen in college? That's the question, isn't it? Mm. Do, no, I, I wouldn't be they surprised if they do now. Probably. I would not be surprised if they do. Yeah, question. Do you get <laughs> to fit kitchens in colleges as a carpenter? What do carpenters do in college? What do you get taught in college? Dovetails. Is Hang that what it is? Yeah. Hang a door. Yeah. No, what are they called? We used to do birds, in school, Bird mouths. Did we birds, do that in birds, school? Birds, Design technology. Is that even a thing in school anymore? Yeah. Woodworking. Yeah. It's still a thing, is it? Good. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. It's very precise, isn't it? Sometimes carpentry. Yeah. That's what I think that's cool about I it. built a kitchen in my van. Built a oh, we want to get and that I hate, I hated to... carpentry. You're a kitchen fitter, mate. You ain't You've a carpenter, mate. You've got a kitchen mate. in your van? <laughs> I converted it to a camper van. Oh, is this the one with the solar panels? I see. I thought yeah. it's got the solar panels. Don't look at the electrics in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the first thing I'm doing now. Auto-electrician. That's the first thing I'm doing. you do No. Again, that's another thing, misconception. Mm. They think electricians can... I don't want to touch any of that. I don't touch a car, electrician. No. Nah. My battery died. Oh, no, listen, I could get a bit of rad weld in a fucking it's, water. It's, it's <laughs> more rag than it's worth. Yeah, yeah. Undo all them looms in the back of the... Va- yeah. Oh, God. Seems like so what sort of work do you mainly do? Domestic? Mainly do domestic. Um, I definitely don't come from a domestic background. Mm. Um, so I'm more of an industrial sort of thing. What you done all the tra- like cable trays and that sort yeah, of stuff? containment and all that sort of stuff mm. is predominantly what I used to do. And what I that. love doing, like domestic work's easy. Yeah. Like, it, is, it is, it can be easy. But I know plenty of like industrial sparks that couldn't go into someone's house and rewire someone's oh, house. It's different, isn't it? It's, so it's, it, it's chalk and cheese in that aspect. Yeah. I done industrial when I first started doing electrics. It was all that tray and... yeah. It weren't the same. I couldn't wear a house. And there's definitely a, like a stereotype. Uh, you still get, oh, you house basher. You get, mm-hmm. like, especially the comments I get on TikTok. You're just a house basher. Well, I'm, I'm not, but yeah, um, it's a lot easier for me to film content doing domestic work than it is to be able to go on one of them big data centers I yeah. used to yeah. do. And you, you're not allowed to film in any of them. No. So it's mainly not, domestic now you do? Mainly domestic, purely because I can film content a lot of the clients i've got now know that i make youtube videos and i do tiktok videos and uh, a lot of them do yeah they know what i do so it's Mm. easy for me to still be able to do that that's the reason why i still stuck in Mm. stuck in the old domestic do you ever ever, do you ever ever pop at clients no 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 why do i sort of like i try not to anyway i try to make light of it but i try to make it so it's like everyone, I'll give you an example. So the other day, right, I had a, it was not not a customer that I've had. Right? Mm. So I don't slag off any of my customers. But if I've had issues with one customer who I've never going to have see again or whatever, mm-hmm. I will make something of it. Do you know what I mean? So the other day, I might get a job, I don't know. Geezer <laughs> phones me up, right? And he goes, can you quote for a free bedroom house full heating and um, boiler? I went, what? He goes, I've got the boiler, I've got the pipe, I've got everything. Oh, no, I don't know. And, and I'm like, I'm like, well, I don't know, I ain't seen it. Well, would you just give us a ballpark figure? I went, well, I, I said, I don't know. I said, um, I, I'll have to see the job. I don't know where you get. Well, just a ball. I went, two and a half grand. Something like that. He went, so, he goes, that would make you on £500 oh, a day. Whoa, whoa. I went, whoa. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, went, that, yeah, yeah. he no. went, how long? Yeah, because he went, how long is he going to say it? I went, I don't know, five days. I don't know. He goes, so that's £500 a day. I went, oh. 
I went, wait, you've yeah. asked for a price. Yeah. You've not asked me for, for a day, day rate. rate. I said, I don't do day yeah. rate. Yeah. I said, you've asked for a price. I think that is so fucking rude. Well, that, the, the, as soon as someone says that, I don't want to do the job because that just proves you know what kind of customer is going to be, yeah. I, just be thought, I just thought, how rude is that? Where do you do that yeah. on everything? Ring up. Can I have a quote? Well, let me come around and have a look. No, just give me... No, I, I, I'm not interested in that. The yeah. Alarm bells, red flags for yeah. me, and I'm like... Yeah. No, thank you very much. I mean, like I said, like he goes, well, that's going to be. I said, you've you've asked me over the phone to quote you something. Yeah. I said I ain't seen the job, so I'm giving you a ballpark. I said don't try and now do your mathematics mm -hmm. and see how much money I'm on a day because I don't even know if it's going to take five days. Because if it takes six days, you're going to pay me an extra five hundred quid. No, you fucking well I ain't, are you? No, no, no. So like, and I just think it's so fucking rude because these play mainly these people. I've got a bit of money who do that to you as well. Do they walk into the Range Rover garage and ask for a fucking breakdown of how yeah, the exactly. fucking car's been or made money and how much money they're making? Shopping. Yeah, fuck mm. off. Come on now. Just gets on me. Just gets on me. I go. think we're treated badly in that aspect, tradesmen, that people feel it's all right yeah. to try and bring our price down and try and pay us less than the quote that we give them. Yeah. That happens far too often. It does. And it that just and it, and, and it just gets brushed under the carpet. That it does. That's acceptable. It, yeah. And and you can be haggled down. No, listen, that's my price and my price. Yeah. If you don't like it, then find someone else to do it cheaper. Yeah. That's it. End you, of. You, you'll get you get you can get a number of quotes, compare yeah. them up against the other quotes. That's yeah. all you gotta do. Yeah. Don't try and mathematically work out how much I'm earning out of it. Yeah. Why should you worry? As long as you're getting the job done for a price that you... Uh, and it, it depends how much you want to work as well. Like, obviously, they choose the um, tradesmen to come in. They pick the tradesmen. I think it also works out to how... whether you like them or not as yeah. well. It's got a lot to do with it as well. Yeah. But, um, what is your plan then? Or well, you don't got a plan? I've never had a plan. I've just gone with the flow. Uh, there is no end goal. There is no plan. Uh, I'm... For me, I'm just, just yeah, happy. I just, I'm just happy plodding along and doing what I like doing. Like I don't put any pressure on myself to feel like I have to put out content every day. As much as I probably do do that, I don't feel like I've got to keep up with the that's latest you, trends and doing this and doing that. And mm, like, That's when you stop enjoying it when you put yeah, pressure Yeah, totally. On. And I've also, also been one that I've always tried to stay ahead of the curve and do things a little bit differently. Mm. Um, I don't want to start jumping on bandwagons because it just ain't me and I can't be bothered with it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, as I've, in the end goals, I haven't really got any. No. I'm just going to keep going. Um, maybe TV, potentially, mm. hopefully, as talk of it. Yeah. Um, so that might be an avenue that I'd like to go oh. down, but it's not like a be or, be or an end all. I haven't yeah. got, oh, God, I've got just to be Just whatever comes with it sort yeah. of thing. It is what it is. Um, yeah, just keep plodding along. What happens, happens, doesn't it? I've heard, uh, exactly. And what will be, will be. But yeah, there's nothing that I go, yeah, I mm. definitely want to do like this. I definitely want to do that. There's things in the pipeline. There's a opportunity to do an electrician's podcast, mm. uh, which I, we've actually spoke about for years. I'm and whether we do it. I'm on an electrician's podcast on Thursday. Which one's that? Are you going up there? No, it's in, um, it's the, uh, insight one. Yeah. What's that for a Zoom? That's it, two, two Irish lads. Yeah. I'm on that on Thursday. So it'd be potentially me and Nick Bundy. Um, oh, really? Yeah. You and the Bundas. Me and the Buns. What's the electrical the community Bundy. like? Harsh. Who? Harsh. How would you the electrical it? community. Oh, it's harsh? Yeah, it can be. Do, do you know the, obviously plumbing, like the gas plumbing is quite, everyone sort of gets on near enough. Like it's... But I certainly don't want it to be a hardcore electrician's uh, banging about regs and stuff like that because that's not me. Yeah, yeah. And that's not Nick either. Like, I don't want to be... You want to be a bit, bit more like this, yeah? I just want to be a bit more personal. Yeah. Yeah, or personable, or should I say, and uh, a little bit more easy going. Of course, it's going to be electrical-based and it'll be mm. uh, because we want it to be a podcast for electricians, mm. but we don't want it to be sort of just solely tailored to electricians because for me for one even though i'm an electrician it's bloody boring yeah mm. that's what, it's boring well, that's i the, don't want to talk about electrics all day yeah well that's the thing that's you have why to switch it up you have bit, to you? yeah like we said we have to switch it up but we don't we didn't want to really necessarily just go bang on about this is not 
this is not a plumber's podcast. Do you know no. what I mean? This is this is sort of and like an all round. You don't stereotype yourself into yeah. that because you put yourself into that pigeonhole, then you're, you're pigeonholed. We, we, you? we just happen to be a couple of. He's an ex plumber. I'm a plumber, and we're just. He wanted to do this thing like regarding mm. trade apps and all that, and it it, it revolves around everything. Like of course, try it and does. keep a try and keep a broad scope. Or, yeah, yeah, scope. Yeah, sort yeah. Of yeah. Thing. I agree. I think that's what works best. Yeah, yeah. it's just. Um, yeah, I said there, there's a lot of podcasts out. There. It's funny, isn't it? Because when you don't do something, like you don't notice I, it. I was only aware of obviously trade legends, yeah. But then when you actually then yeah, there's a few out there. There's a few out there. There's loads of trade. There's actually like a podcasts. very low percentage of population that actually do podcasts that are active. Like if you look yeah. at the numbers, it's I very it's low. So hard as well to to just come up with a podcast and for it to be. Well, yeah, but people expect too much. I think they they want it to blow. Like, things take time. Of course like they this. do. You yeah. look at all the big podcasters yeah. and stuff. It's, unless you yeah. unless you've already got that following mm. or like people. Yeah, I think and then and that's an and then that's an easier progression. Of course, it is. Uh, mm. And instead of just starting yeah, you, one you from scratch, yeah, yeah. and I mean, this is from scratch. Yours will be from scratch, wouldn't it? Really? I mean, you have got following. Yeah, so I think that's the only thing but, that would be uh, to our benefit is that mm. we've got a following. Um, but still, but even then, that proves in the grand that... scheme of things, when you're talking about big time like podcasts, yeah, yeah, a lot of them have have already they've already, they might have a million followers. Yeah, some of them, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's not going like, to correlate to views, no. is it? That's 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 definitely not what's going to happen. So yeah, but no. yeah, like everyone knows, following ain't everything. Isn't no. it? it don't mean that they're engaged. No, yeah. of course yeah. it's not. No, far from it. What's the what's the what's the dumbest thing Casper's ever done on site? There's numerous amount. Of, Casper's not a dumb boy. No, he's not silly. Um, he just doesn't think. Yeah. Sometimes your common sense is a little bit. I think. That, yeah. I think it's more. That, that it's a more of a common sense right. aspect it's, to it. I, I I would I assume that he should know what he's talking about, and mm. it does. How long have you been working together? Two years, two, nearly three years. That is a relationship. Would you recommend an apprentice? Uh, yeah, I've had loads of apprentices. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cass was probably my fourth apprentice. Um, How did you meet then? On an off that chance. Com- <laughs> completely <laughs> off chance. It was at uh, uh, Hampstead Heath again. <laughs> no. uh, I worked in his girlfriend's house. Mm. I was doing some work. All right. And um, oh. our dad was like, What a oh, liberty. Yeah. <laughs> my uh, dad was like, oh, uh, my girlfriend's boyfriend, my girlfriend's boyfriend, not his, no, my daughter's <laughs> boyfriend, uh, is becoming an electrician. I said, oh, I'd like to meet him, blah, blah, and that was it. Mm. Yeah, just uh, uh, fell on my lap, he did, near, basically. I had a daughter's boyfriend. With his mouth open. <laughs> I, had a daughter, I had a daughter's boyfriend, actually, once to come work for me, yeah. Your daughter's boyfriend? Not my daughter's. I was going to uh, say. Uh, the same situation, yeah. working in a customer's house, and his daughter's boyfriend, boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. was living in his house. Yeah. Oh. Imagine. Yeah. I wouldn't have taken that. Nah. Nah. He went nah. straight out the window. Boyfriend? Anyway, you got a boyfriend? Yeah. He was, um, he, he came to work with me for a while. He was all right. But he was, uh, in the Didn't end. last long then. But, nah. uh, but to be fair, there. when, it was when we had our part, me and my mate had the partnership and we, we brought mm. him on with us. When that sort of like dissolved, he sort of like, he dissolved with it, if you like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was like, we ain't, we ain't carrying this on. It was like we didn't get rid of him. No, just, they all great to have around. Like parents get a bad, not uh, bad reputation. Mm. They're great to have around. You just hope they stay on when they're qualified. And unfortunately, yeah. the majority of them all uh, clear off. How long has he, he, uh, he got to his qualified? He's got another year yet. Got another year. Got to stick around for another year. Have you? Doesn't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. He can go to another firm and work much harder if he wants. But he's just put the pressure on you. I mean, you won't be getting to do this, will you? You know what I mean? Sitting on the sofa, getting paid for it. Yeah, literally. That's right. Yeah. You're, you're, you're getting I mean, more than I mean, him today. I mean, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> you're getting paid for the podcast and he ain't. I've had to pay congestion charge to get here, so I'm actually down money. Diesel as well. Like, well. Who do I send the invoice to? Which one? Yeah, Casper. <laughs> Right, um, shall we wrap it then? Shall yeah, we wrap it? Wrap it. Well, thank all I would say, I'd say is uh, thank you to my good friend Ryan. No, thank you for having me, guys. Thanks for coming in. An absolute and, pleasure. And helping us out with this podcast. Thanks to I Casper. I've got to promote as well. it, have I? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put it there. That's that was in, part of the invoice. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, in the contract. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
the uh, yeah. yeah no, and Cash was taking the picture was now just disturbing. Oh, right. At least get my good side. Yeah, get his good side. <laughs> um, yeah, no, thanks, mate. Appreciate it. No, thank you for having me, guys. It's been nice. Looking forward to hearing it. Sweet. Thanks very much for joining us. Join us on Monday for the overtime episode, as per usual. All right, this has been another episode of Off The Job Podcast. Thanks for watching the show on YouTube or listening on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts and all other streaming platforms. If it's your first time watching or not, make sure to subscribe below and follow us on all the big social media stuff like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. For our overtime show on Monday, send us in your stories and comments for it to be read out on the show. Send it in via email, direct message through our social media accounts or WhatsApp us on 07457 406259. And we'll see you on the next episode.